Subconscious is the supercomputer of the brain. All the stuff working underneath our conscious awareness that's driving our feelings and our what we think are the decisions that um, we've thought through so carefully. And that only by exploring the subconscious and understanding it a little bit can we actually improve ourselves over time. And I agree. I think that mistake is to think that thinking can override it all. It's a certain style of introspection and thinking that allows us to read the signals from our body, read the signals from our brain, integrate the, the knowledge that we're collecting about ourselves and, and to use all that in ways that are really adaptive and generative for us. What do you think is there in that subconscious? What do you think of the Jungian and shadow? Is, what, what, what's there? You know, there's this idea, as if you're familiar with too, I'm sure that this Jungian idea that there are, we all have all things inside of us, that all of us have the capacity to be evil, to be good, et cetera, but that some people express one or the other to a greater extent. But he also mentioned that there's a unique category of people, maybe two to 5% of people that don't just have all things inside of them, but they actually spend a lot of time exploring a lot of those things, mm -hmm. the darker recesses, the shadows, their own shadows. You know, I'm somebody who's drawn to goodness and to light and to joy and all those things like anybody else. But no, I think um, maybe it was part of how I grew up. Maybe it was the crowd I was with, maybe. But then again, you know, even when I started spending more time with academics and scientists. I mean, you see shadows in other ways, right? You see pure ambition with no passion. I, I recall a, a colleague in San Diego who, it was very clear to me, did not actually care about understanding the brain, but understanding the brain was just his avenue to exercise ambition. And if you gave him something else to work on, he'd work on that. And in fact, he did. He left and he worked on something else. And I realized he has no passion for understanding the brain like all the, I assumed all scientists do. That's certainly why I went into it. But some people, it's just raw ambition. It's about winning. It doesn't even matter what they win. To which to me is crazy, but I think that's a shadow that some people explore, not one I've explored. I think the shadow parts of us are very important to come to understand. And look, better to understand them and know that they're there and work with them than to not acknowledge their presence and have them surface in the form of addictions or behaviors that, um, that damage us and other people.